Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free and Toolon. Today we are checking out an impact wrench. Savum, they actually sent this to me for me to test out. I really never turn away tools because I love testing out tools and this is a great opportunity because this tool seemed a little bit different than the other one. So let's go ahead and unbox it. We're going to check it out here. So you have a really nice carrying case right here. This is a padded carrying case. It comes with four different sockets. This is a 17 millimeter a 19 millimeter, this should be a 20 millimeter, and this is a 21 millimeter. That's all your standard uh, lug nut sizes on your vehicles. This is a rapid charger right here. This will charge this three amp hour lithium ion battery in two hours. Now, this does have another place to charge. So you can charge it either through a slow block charger on your wall, or you can use the rapid charger, but this does come with the rapid charger. And this is the actual impact wrench. This boasts 320 foot-pounds of torque. It's zero to 3,000 RPM. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn it on. You can see there's your battery, it's high. Now we went from high to low. Let's activate it once more. So when you have it in forward and you press the button, you can select from your speed right here. That's your speed control. This is your battery and your speed control. But if you put it in reverse, you see that right there? It's kind of hard to see. Let's get a closer end on it. That's actually your brake stop. So whenever you're in reverse, what that really means is that once you actually break the nut loose, it'll stop spinning. So you don't spin it completely off and lose the nut. All right, let's put it through some tests first. We're gonna tighten these up and then we're gonna break them loose. We're gonna see how this brake stop actually works. So let's go. Put it in reverse, the brake stop is on. Okay, so it stopped. This did not fly off and that's awesome because when you're on the side of the road or you're somewhere and you lose a lug nut, that could spell disaster. Oh yeah, that's awesome. You really want this brake stop. Okay, so how I'm gonna test this out in practical sense, I'm going to torque this down. This right here is it set at 120 foot-pounds of torque. We're going to torque the lug down and then we're going to break it off on the lower setting and then we'll tighten it back up and break it on the higher setting. So here we go. Okay, that's tight. Okay. Now using the same socket. Okay, so let's start this out. I have it on low right now, the low setting. Let's see if we can't break this bolt here. And then if we don't break it, we'll set it on high. All right, so the brake stop worked as well, so that worked out just fine. Let's set it on a high and uh, let's break this one over here. So we have it on high now. Okay, so that was awesome. The brake stop worked. So when it felt that it would stop hammering and it started spinning, it did break. So that's awesome. So this broke 120 foot pounds just fine and that's what I would expect. All right everybody, so when I was sent this tool and I opened it up and I noticed the quality of how it's actually built, this is actually really nice quality. It has a lot of the features that you see on some of the major tool brands such as the task light, the auto brake, the lithium ion, the brushless motor, the over molding, the controls on it. It just has a lot going for it. So take a look below. You'll see a link if you're interested in this tool. Plus, I also have a special discount as well for you to use if you're interested in this tool. So everybody, I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.